Hey, this is Jensen Ackles, and Men's Health has asked me to tell you about everything I eat. So get a pen. I'm not a strict diet person unless I'm specifically doing something that requires it. I think generally speaking, I tend to just try to keep it as balanced as possible. I do have three kids, three young kids, so it is hard not to just be the garbage disposal. Chicken fingers and little sliders and all of that kind of stuff tends to find its way onto my plate eventually. When I'm responsible for myself, maybe when I'm traveling or whatever, it's really just about a, a kind of trying to stay balanced. But I think if you can just get into a habit of, of not eating until you can't breathe, which I'm certainly guilty of. Don't overeat and don't overindulge, at least not all the time. When I got the role for the boys and then when I started, I guess, training for it, you know, I went on not necessarily a specific diet per se, but I just kind of went on a cleaner diet. So I would eat, you know, instead of eating hamburgers and fried stuff. I tried to cut out all the stuff that I think we all know is not overly beneficial for you and tried to just clean it up. You know, to eat uh, more grilled fish and grilled chicken and steamed vegetables and steamed rice and that kind of stuff. I do have a family, I do have kids and I don't want, <laughs> I, I don't want my diet to be so burdening on myself and my family that it just, it, that nobody's enjoying themselves anymore. I would say on a normal basis, just if I'm not, you know, specifically dieting to do something, to, but it's happening. I've been more exposed in my 40s than I ever was in my 20s. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I would say normally I, I get up, try to eat a sensible breakfast, which I try to vary that up between, you know, maybe it's granola and yogurt, and some fruit. If I'm with my wife and we're traveling, it's always usually like egg whites and turkey bacon and gluten-free toast. So I go along with that, minus the gluten-free toast. I can't, I, I got to give me the real stuff. I got to have real bread. I largely snack throughout the day, so I'm not eating big meals. That works for me, and just making smart choices on those snacks. Don't go for the donut, even though, oh, you want to sometimes. You go for an apple, or you go for some celery and peanut butter, or you go for some carrots and hummus. I'm a huge steak fan. I know it's not the best for you, but once, maybe twice a week, I'll treat myself to a steak. But other than that, it's, you know, fish, chicken, pork. Go-to comfort food. Peanut butter. I don't know why. I've got my kids on it. They'll just they'll do a peanut butter spoon, we call them. And it's literally just a spoon of peanut butter. Here you go. And they just walk around the house eating peanut butter off the spoon. No. If you're ordering the right pizza, you don't need to add anything on it. Find a better pizza place if you're having to dunk your stuff in ranch. I treat it like steak. Like if you need steak sauce, get a better steak. My go-to hangover cure, you gotta drink a ton of water before you go to bed and you gotta wake up and you get to drink a ton of water. I drink a ton of water all the time anyway. I'm old school, coffee and a greasy breakfast. Waffles, fresh waffles. Like even the waffle cones at like an ice cream shop, forget it. Ah, oh, favorite carb, gosh. I'm gonna have to say pasta. His diet was probably largely uh, caffeine, alcohol, and cigarettes. <laughs> But current food trend, he might get on that like liver king guy, be like, yeah, nothing but meat and organs. I can get down with that. So that's a little insight into my approach of eating. Thanks for watching.